Hey guys, welcome back to another video thing for Spooktober. Ooh, scary. So, at work, I was thinking of what games I could play. And I've been wanting to play Dredge again. And I, because I played it once when it first came to PS Plus. Was it earlier this year or was it last year? I think it was last year, wasn't it? And um, I, I've been wanting to play it again. And then I thought, it's it's kind of a horror game, isn't it? It's, it's I think it's um, a Cthulhu type game, isn't it? Like... I know, I know there's some sort of cosmic being underneath the sea or, or something and whatnot. I think, if I remember right, I'm, it reminds me a lot, I don't know if anyone's ever seen this film, um, called Dagon, based on, I think it's a H.P. Lovecraft story, or Edgar Allan Poe. It's one of them two. And it's about these people, who, like these fish people that live underwater, and Dredge just reminds me of it. So, uh, I think it'd be a great game to play for Halloween, although it's not typically scary. I have a fear of the ocean, so it's going to be good to play. So I'm, I'm literally not too far in. I'm only in like day two, so I haven't really gone too far. But I know off the story, because um, I, I saw Ash Millman play it on PlayStation Access and talk about it. style is really awesome dredging the depths the depths of hell my microphone's turned on isn't it yeah good I had this horrible feeling that the microphone was mute Muted. it's a nice little plant time to live, it. live in the morning light fills your eyes and you try to sit upright you're lying on the cold wet dock where you collapsed the night before a short man is shouting orders at a handful of workers disembarking from a boat nearby the man notices you Welcome to Greater Marrow. I must say, quite the dramatic first impression. I see you've already introduced yourself to the jagged rocks along the bay. The Greater God. I watched um, Hot Fuzz the other day, and now I'm talking. Uh, I want to do, want to do characters in like a Yorkshire accent. The Greater, or is it called One the or something like that? Whatever it is. Did you not see the lighthouse? It was shining right at you. Ah well, I'm glad to see our new fisherman upright and breathing. Your boat was hopelessly damaged, but I've had a few of the locals move your things to one of the old vessels. We'll catch up later to discuss more details. I'll let you get out there to catch some fish, see if you can fill your cargo while I get your bearings in the light. Finally, I don't suppose I need to say this, but get back by sundown before the fog rolls in. Keep a close eye on the time, it can really creep up on you. Amen to that. Right, so all we can do at the minute is undock. Oh, wait, wait. Triangle. Uh, so this is my boat, isn't it? Cabin pursuit. Catch a fish for the day. We've got a map, encyclopedia, and messages. Does anything carry over? Lots of uh, fish, isn't there? It's like I've been playing Dave Diver as well, and they did a DLC. Move forward to the left, don't use reverse, and turn with left and right. Okay. They did a DLC, uh, Dave Diver did, on, um, oh, I've just done that, haven't I? On, um, yeah, so, base fish. Right, I've got to remember how to fish now. Start fishing. It's blue mackerel. Oh, it's like a Resident Evil 4. Oh. Yeah, so basically, um, Dave the Diver did a Dredge DLC for it, and I, I think that would be quite cool to, to do as well. Right, okay, so we, we caught a fish. I can't remember how far I got in this game. I, I mean, I know I only got to, like, day two. We got ourselves a card. But, like, um, I, I don't remember too much. I know it's like a really great, enjoyable, cosy game though to play. Disturbed water, Charlotte, you don't have the right equipment for this spot, okay? Is there a con can see the controls yet? So move forward, move backwards, turn left, turn right, recenter camera, camera left, camera right, up, down, ability menu, open cargo, undock, interact, secondary action, uh, reel, pick up, place item, rotate left, rotate right, sell, buy, page left, page right, jump left. Jump right, cast ability, 
quick move item, discard item, repair, select, to repair this is making no sense. Uh, well, not making no sense, it is, but you know what I mean. Uh, oh, photo mode, yes. Any game that has like photo mode is an automatic 10 out of 10. Ooh. Look at the sharks. That's a big fish over there, but I can't get these, can I? Oh, there's a bot. Nope. There's a bottle over here. Message in a bottle. 20th of August, 1927. Oh. I want to use my horn. Darby. Darby. It's like Tetris as well. Uh, right, so can we go over to there? I don't think I can go too far out to see, can I? Light, strong lights left. Um, get a close look and identify fish it spots the difference. The music's really nice as well. Just one. Oh, okay. So, time in advance when you're moving fish and taking other specific action. Right. So, my. Oh, wait. I can. Or do I really want to go this far out? Did I. Did, oh, there's loads of islands. It's six o'clock. We better. Oh, there's something over there as well, but I haven't got a time now, have I? I don't even know what happens when the fog rolls in. <coughs> Makes me more visible to what? The eye in the sky is going mad. Come on, come on, little tugboat. Oh, the eye's opening. It's moving. Yeah, <coughs> you look lost, fisherman. Are you after somewhere to sell your catch? Greater Marrow is on the west side. Of the... What? I'm on the wrong side. Keep an eye on the lighthouse there. Eh? We don't want to lose sight of it for too long. I'm on the right side. You enter a brightly lit shop. It's packed with antiques, the shelves full of jewellery and other baubles. An old man peers at you over silver spectacles. Hello, is that? No. Ah, I don't believe we've met. Forgive me, my eyes aren't what they used to be. I specialise in antiques and jewellery. I'll purchase any special trinkets you happen to have. Have you got anything nice with you today, perhaps? Just fish, mate. I just got fish, buddy. Yeah, if um, you want to watch a good, a good horror film, like do watch Dagon. It's it's an amazing film. I don't have any tree. So I'm on the wrong side of town. Crap. You do not believe it. So now, why couldn't you just let me stay the night? The eye's getting angry. The eye is sore on. We're going to die in our first game. The school of fish that are doing circles. What's that purple light? Is that the northern lights? First day in, and we're we're about to find out what happens when we die. Do you like certain fish only come out at night as well? The maid's gonna be angry at me. I really am curious. No fish? Get out there and catch. I, I've caught some fish. Put it in storage, didn't I? 
Morning of the second day of the, of the honeymoon. Wait, wait, wait. Morning of the second day of the honeymoon and our first day proper. Today we're sailing around the islands and inlets at the back of Greater Marrow. I love the rocks here. The layers and colours are so striking. Furthermore, the fishing is relatively poor in these shallows, so I know he will keep his hands on the wheel instead of the rods. He renamed the boat last night, Julie. He did a fancy renaming ceremony and everything. I think he took that more seriously than the wedding. Supposedly it's very important to perform it correctly, lest you want ill fortune to follow the vessel. He wanted to throw away everything with the old name on it, but I kept the keychain. Ocean Richards was a good name. I think he had prepared a surprise picnic lunch. I could see the basket half hidden, stuffed under a blanket at the front of the cabin. I love it when he tries to be romantic. How do I go? Where's my storage? Go to bed. Why is it not letting me go to bed? It's night. Did it expect me to fish all night? I caught a fish and bloody put the damn thing in storage. And now the eye Soren's getting angry. Ooh. No, it was worth. It's not a fish, but. fish for the, for the squid for them. Oh, was that something new? Oh no. Depleted. Okay, so we've got everything there. That eye looks really angry now, doesn't it? A floating boy. Serves to mark safe passage. Now it's dangerous rocks and obscure hazard. It's dim light also provides a brief respite in the gloom of the night. 3 a.m. You step on the dock at the Great Tamara. The mayor is waiting nearby. Ah, I see you've returned in one piece. Very good. Before you head off to town, we should discuss the matter of your boat. As I mentioned earlier, your old boat was too badly damaged to be repaired. However, I'm more than happy to sell you that replacement vessel. Yours to own. I understand you may not have the necessary funds on hand, so we'll consider it a loan, but I want to make this easy for you. Until your debt is repaid, a tiny portion of your fish sales will go towards paying it off. A small amount of interest will go towards improving the town. So, to recap, you'll need to sell fish to the local market, paying off your debt, and in turn keeping the population fed and satisfied. Understood? Uh, selling fish helps the town and pays off my debt. Got it. Off you go then. Sell those fish while they're still fresh. Uh, there we go, my storage. I can take all these out now, can't I? And sell, sell, sell. Buy, buy, buy. Do I have room for another one? Yeah. Hopefully we've made a fair bit of money on our fifty dollars remaining. You enter a squalid shack on the fringe of the marketplace. The familiar smell of fish fills the air. Flies buzz haphazardly around a downcast man behind the counter. You're the new fisherman, eh? Surprised to find a new one so fast. What happened to the other one? He it takes a certain type of person to last out here. It's not a life for everyone. Anyway, to business. I'll pay you for fish. Bigger and fresher means more money. Some species are just worth more too. Other towns on other islands might pay you different. But while you've still got a debt outstanding here, I suggest you work on paying it off first. All right, mate, jeez. So let's see what you've got then. Can I sell all fish? I can't. Wow, so my debt's paid off. Or is it? The mayor is standing outside the fishmonger store. Excellent work. I have no doubt you'll be able to provide for this town. Hmm. Look here. I found this down back there in the docks. I'm sure someone like you can make something out of it. Why don't you take it? You must take these items. Research. Pick up. Uh, R3. Put it there. Whoa. Oh, one last thing. Our local shipwright mentioned she might be able to 
um, might be able to make some modifications to your ship. You should pay her a visit. Uh, shipwright. As you walk into the yard, you see the shipwright making repairs to a damaged hull. She looks up at you briefly before turning back to her work. You must be the new fisherman. I can make improvements. It's like a storybook, isn't it? Um, to your vessel in the yard. Mind you, I'm not in the business of doing favours. Round here, payments is up front and everything takes some time to install. Also, if you take on any damage from the rocks or any damage at all, I can patch it up. Mostly. Soren's still going mad, look at him. She shrugs and gestures towards the hull she's currently attempting to repair. A number of wooden boards, all well above the waterline, are splintered and scratched. Take a look around, just remember, the bigger the equipment, the longer it takes to install, so plan ahead. Okay, so... Uh, how do, can I not give her that? No, okay. So we'll put that back. So, simple skirmer, shallow, shallow. So I can buy that. How much money have I got? 99. So what's my fishing rod? Light rod suited to catching fish that live in the shallows. Small spool makes a limited reeling speed, however. So what's my rod? Um, oh, catcher's coastal. Yeah, so splintered and fragile. This rod is only capable of catching the smallest of fish. So that other one would be better, wouldn't it? Two hours, sorry. Oh, it's 5 a.m. Okay, so go back. $32 remaining. Uh, research. Re ah, research. Here we go. So, was it? Oh, wait. I've researched parts one. Okay, engine. So. Efficient propellers now make a reasonable engine for those on a budget. Uh, fiber design allows you for more flexible fishing style. Have I just wasted money on an efficient rod when the research would let me do this? I think I am having time. Rest under. What's rest? Oh, okay, I see. So rest just passes the time. Okay, got you. And then undock. Let's go fishing. New fish. Okay, so I have a little bit of a confession to make. I went, I had to pause the game because I got hungry, so I went and did some dinner. And then I kind of went for a nap, and I've slept for like six hours ish, six, five or six hours. <laughs> I'm like, oh, great. Okay, I didn't mean to. So I've completely like lost track of what I was talking about previously. So I do apologize if the video sounds different and I sound different and whatnot. I've literally just woke up about three minutes say three minutes ago, about five minutes ago and fed the cat and just like, I need to take some painkillers because I woke up with a bad headache. I always wake up with headaches. I think I get, it's because of my caffeine addiction. I really shouldn't fish all here because I can fish in the shallows now. So I'm going to leave that one. You know, I don't know where the... Sh I, is this the shallows? Or is this coastal? I do not know. Oh, I know where we do need to... Oh, it's... Okay, so I'm not going to do that one. I want to go over this way because... Was it this way that we saw? There it is. Disturbed water. Oh, we've got a new... Oh, that's a big one. That's what she said. It's one o'clock. Can I... Oh, it's not even a freaking thing. Oh, there's some big fish here. Oh, disturbed. I don't have the right equipment. What equipment do I need for that? I've got sleep in the eye. Like, I don't know if I mentioned this before. But I probably have. I've got really long eyelashes and like they curl inwards so when I sleep they get all like stuck together and it, they really oh I can put that there see so Petra skills will come in to, or Resident Evil skills they curl inwards and then they all like 
pressed together and, and they get really whoa can I catch up to them I don't think I'm going to be able to catch them but come here <laughs> I literally went mur, mur, and my phone answered by going mur, mur, back. Right, I'm lost. Don't know where we're going. Yeah, so as I was saying, my um my eyelashes like curl inwards and when I wake up they all crust together from whatever causes the crust in and it really when I like clean my eyes wipe it away it, it, it it's really sharp and that's like I've gone completely the wrong way can't even see do I do I dare put the light on Exposure to fog and other things increases your panic. Bright lights and, and sleeping will reduce it. Why would we be panic? I'm miles out. Are we going to die? I don't trust it. Why would, why would I be panic? Oh! Oh, God! seen that crap no I've lost a fish and I'm, I'm, you know what I think it's better if my light does die we'll make up for that there we go. <coughs> oh god my, the eyes so what is that purple light over there like the northern light, speaking of the northern. Damn it. I'm sure they weren't there before, were they? My ship's on fire. Christ on. Oh! What the frick? So, the rocks are just appearing out of nowhere. And something's living onto my cargo hold. What the hell? <laughs> I don't think I... A hunched woman approaches you from the steps to the lighthouse. She stops some distance away and looks at you with concern and visible apprehension. Why are you here? I've come to see fish. I've come to see the area. I've come to meet people. I must have come to see the area. There's nothing here for someone like you anymore. Do yourself a favour and move on. She turns and shuffles back along the path that leads to the light. Uh, fishmonger. I've had a special order come through from a customer. If you can fulfil it, I'll pay you above the normal price. Tell me about the order. They've asked for one gulf flounder and one great eel. I had a great eel, I think. Just bring them in when you have them. You'll need to have a rod that can handle shallow water fish in order to catch those. Pardon me, the shipwright should be able to sort that for you. Have you got any fish for that order? Just leave what it's infected though, isn't it? Come out when you have everything. Now it's regular business, eh? Uh, sell all fish. So, what has that debt gone down by 10% now, is it? Don't get yourself get to one and need you while I did this time. Okay. Oh my, look, you look as awesome. You're not forgetting to get some sleep, are you? So I always say, taking frequent breaks is an important part of being productive. $22 remaining. Your boat's looking a bit banged up. I could repair that here if you like. Okay, so how do I? Oh, wow, $90. How much do I have? I don't have enough. I don't need that repairing because I have another fishing rod. 
So, you know what? I think we'll be all right for now. Well, maybe I should get that. Maybe I should get the fishing rod fixed. So I can I can I can fish in like the same area. So I will leave the other two for now. Uh, simple skimmer and show. Okay. Uh, do, do, I don't have enough for that. I don't have enough for anything. I've only got fifty one dollars. Fifty one dollars. Uh, I haven't done any research, have I? No. Maybe I should go to sleep and get some rest. Oh, what's the mayor saying? Just a person I was hoping to see. Will you be sailing out east towards Little Marrow? Would you give this package to the dock worker there, please? I don't see why not. The mayor hands you a small damp package bound and strained. It's dripping slightly. Does it smell? The dock worker will pay you for delivery. Please be quick about it. I don't want it to spoil. Don't forget to check your map. Okay. Uh, cabin pursuit. Uh, one flounder, one eel. Deal the package. Map. Uh, little marrow. Great marrow. Where's it we got to go? Devil's spine. Twisted strands. Cellar basin. Gale cliffs. I assume it's here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. At Little Marrow, which is to the east. Never eat. Right, so, yeah. I was going to say, it's right. Okay, so, map. So, never eat. Oh, Little Marrow. He did say Little Marrow, didn't he? Yeah. Right, so, we'll go have a nap. And then we'll go to live that. Right. Let's uh, let's go. Right, so it's a flounder that I want. This isn't a flounder, but we'll take one. Just because we need the money. Take another card. Uh, no, I'm going to put that there, I think. Did it say that if I use that, then it will tell me blue macro card? card. Ah, there, there. Um, I'll say, can I put a mark on it, but I can see it. Oof, rounder. Oh, that's a uh, that's a big one. I'll have to put you there, I think. A <laughs> pathetically cowed, cowardly dwelling fish. <laughs> What's in this one? Oh, there's a new one over here. Let's go deliver and then we'll see what that is. Hmm, what? A delivery? Let's see here. He tears a small hole in the paper, peeks inside. You can't say for sure, but it feels as though he's shielding it from your view. Yeah, nice and fresh, just to do nicely. I'm to pay you, I suppose. Well, duh. He hands you some money. I was given this old book a few weeks back. But it didn't make much sense to me. You were sure to get more use out of it. He pulls a crumpled book from his back pocket and hands it to you. A number of the pages are folded over. Keep it in your cabin. Perhaps you can read it while you're on the water. Stop by for a chat any time. I know how lonely it can be. Oh, I don't have anything to sell to the trader. Oh, I didn't realise I could rest on this side. That's cool. There's something in the water over there. I'm going to go fishing for this fish. 
interesting, Ray. Oh, Christ, on a bicycle. Oh, I could put you there. Well, I might be catching another one of them. What do I need for this one? Dredge. Okay. <laughs> the name of the game. Insert the, uh, the Leonardo DiCaprio man. You know what? We should. I haven't read this yet. Select this active book. Past time to read. Oh, wow. Okay, so I'm reading it. Oh, wait. Past time to read, so... Oh, wow, okay, that's quite cool, that is. So, like, I'm reading it as as I sail. Wicked. That's pretty cool. Message in a bottle. I really do like this game. I think I am going to... Uh, Upgrade the engine. Oh no, I can't put that. Up. Wait, wait, wait. Can I put that? No. Don't want to get load. Do I have room for that? No, I don't. Okay. Yeah. So I think definitely the next upgrade is going to. Be, I should have done the upgrade on the engine first rather than the fishing rod since I brought both of them. But we'll definitely. How are we doing with the uh, the reading? Fifteen percent. I wonder what we learn from it. Fishmonger wrap ooh, thirty six ninety nine. Wraps up the fish and hands you some money. Good, good. They should be pleased with these. I've got another order here. This one's a little more curious. They want a couple of squid and a whole black grouper. Don't see many people fishing the squid these days. They only feed at night. And well, you know what nights are like around here. Good luck. Okay. So wow, eighty seven, yes. I don't have um any squid do I? No. So shipwright, letters, repair, and repair. Okay. Hmm. Wait, so can I have tip? Simple skimmer, basic fishing pole, Pe peculiar and two hours operation quality. Just in order to get far with this. Okay. I'm not going to buy anything yet then. What can I do for you? I'd like to pay off some of my debt. I want to ask a wider region. Of course, how much all of it? Uh, how much have we got left to pay? I think it's like $10, won't it? So, not yet. Fantastic. Now, what else can I do for you? I want to ask about the wider region. Certainly, there's somewhere in particular you wish to know more about. Well, the main port over there is a place called Ingfell. It's right on the approach to the cliffs. You can't miss it. It's a whaling town, but I haven't heard much talk of it these days. I think quite a few people have left one way or another. Is there another area you'd like to talk about? Stella Basin. Quite a popular tourist destination. There's a resort on the top, built on top of a beautiful coral reef. I'm sure there's a wide variety of fish there. Maybe you fancy getting your hooks into some of those. Is there another area you'd like to discuss at uh, Twisted Strands? Hmm. hmm. I don't think there's much to tell. It's just a tangled mass of trees. It's often blanketed in a thick fog, even during the day. You'd want some good lights and a good sense of direct... Right, okay, if you're to explore in there. And the Devil's Spine. Ah, yes. It's quite exciting, really. An active volcano in the city of ancient ruins. Ooh, that sounds good. I must caution against sailing there, however. The ruins lie low in the water and would surely tear through your hull. Not to mention the aforementioned volcano could erupt at any moment. You occasionally hear it rumbling, rumbling from here. Is there another area you'd like to discuss? 
that's all for that. Now what else can I do for you? Uh, what happens to the last fisherman? Hmm, the last fisherman? Oh, he was very unreliable. He'd go out at night, come back with no fish and proceed to sleep all day. He was also, it sounds like a vampire, he was also a terrible captain. I mean, really terrible. Constantly running aground on the reef, even in broad daylight. The shipwright almost ran out of wood for repairs. No, he was no good. One evening he left and never came back. So long, he shan't be missed by us. Now, what else can we do for you? There's nothing else. Right, so let's let's undock and see what else we can catch. So I need to, I do need to loiter about at night to get a squid. And only 19% black grouper uh, the, so the black grouper only comes out at night as well okay great eel arrow squid something over there. Could that be the grouper? Chuck, 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 chuck. Of you up there. Don't want another one of them. So where was? I'm gonna have to put my light on, aren't I? Again. Where's the groupers? Chug, chug, chug. Whoa, the rocks just appear out of nowhere. It's wild. Oh, they're trying to cave me in. Box me in. Not... Oh, nearly went to that one then. Disturbed water. Are you a new fish? Yes. Right, so I need. Oh, it is arrow squid that I need. Oh, okay. So I should have caught another one. Crap. You know what? I'm going to catch another one of these. So I wonder, I wonder if they sell for anything. So now I need to find. Quickly. Please be squid. Come on. You look like squid. I know you're eels, aren't you? I really like the music. Are you? Oh no, it's morning. You got mackerel. Okay. We slept all, we fished all night, all night long. God, I'll have to try again for the arrow, um, the squid. I should have caught two. Why didn't I catch two? Oh, God. What are the ravens doing? Um, they stole my fish. Oh no, they stole my squid. Son of a bitch. 
Jesus Christ, they stole my squid. Ooh. Is that what I, I know, you know, I'm not gonna cash them on because they, they do take up quite a lot of room. So, right, so let's go sell the, is that a boy? That's just a boy over there. <laughs> Maybe I should sleep through tonight though. I don't know. We're docking. Docking gal. <laughs> the mayor's walking quickly towards you. He seems to be in a good mood for the spring in his All right, Spring Hill Jack. Fantastic news. Thanks partly to your efforts, Greater Marrow is growing. Our town is sure to be swarming with visitors any day now. In fact, I've granted a consent for the shipwright to expand his facilities. The old dry dock is operational again. I've also allocated some money to improve the fishmonger service. He might have something to talk to you about soon. Keep up the good work. We're all glad you've chosen to be here with us. Have you got the fit? I do. All right, come back. We have it now. Let's see. Uh, so sell. How much money do you got? 189. Not all schools of fish are the same. Some contain contain abnormal specimens. Sometimes you can even tell just by looking at it from the surface. Okay. What you wanted to talk to me? If you're wanting specific species, take your encyclopedia. It could have the information that you need. Uh, sorry, sorry. It's a mess in here. I've just been so busy lately. You know how it is. Exhausting. Um... So let's see what the dry dock is. This is the dry dock. We can make significant improvements to your vessel here. We're talking extra space, more attachment points for equipment and even superior hulls. We'll need a decent stock of hard materials for these projects. Lumber, metal scraps, that sort of things. How do I get materials? There's plenty of decent materials around the coast from various shipwrecks and the like. I'm sure you'll find a way to get at them. Materials assigned towards upgrades here will be stored, so don't worry if you only if you only have half of what we need. Okay, so this is up. Right, I see. So it's like a level up spring, isn't it? Instead of experience points, we get materials. Awesome. Remember, you don't have to have all the materials at once, you can store what you have right here in the dry dark. Okay. To also hold rods. I'm not surprised to cut two cargo spaces to also hold rods. One slice for a rod space. Okay. Right, maybe we don't need to sleep. Sleep is for the week anyway. It's not really, because I, 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 I sleep a lot, so it's not for the week. 10% <coughs> chance to not reduce fish dots when catching a fish. Oh, okay, that's quite cool. August 21st. We had a slight accident yesterday around the shallows at the back of Greater Marrow. A rock seemingly appeared out of nowhere and struck the front of the boat. It did not penetrate the hood, but it jostled us around and a few items fell overboard into the water. We did not see what they were, which is of some concern, but we believe all important articles are accounted for. He has been checking over some notes from the boat re renaming ceremony. He is paranoid they performed steps incorrectly. I have never known him to be so superstitious. So I don't want to fish too much in there because that one takes up a lot of space. Let's go see what this town. What do I need for here? Oh, on it. Okay. And do I need the ocean? What? No. Oh, this is card anyway, isn't it? Oh! Oh! I wasn't expecting that. 
Someone answered me back. Blackstone Isle, uh, ruined mansion. The door is locked. Workshop looks like it hasn't been used in decades. Go inside. It's locked. Damn it. Right, okay, so we need two squid. Two squid is plenty. I better put the light back on, haven't I? Because I don't trust these rocks that just like randomly appear out of nowhere. Oh, what's that? Hello? God, that was close. I really want to see what's in the water. Where is the, why is there no eels about? Yeesh. Again, that was close. One night, we're going to go explore what that purple light is. Right, where are these eels? Come to me, my eels. Come to me. sparkling over here. The lighthouse towers above. Waves crash endlessly against the perilous rocks below. All creatures, humans and otherwise, would have their brittle bodies broken and thrown at his feet. You ponder the instinctive power of this structure. A vast column of stones shouldering the responsibility of countless lives. How long will it stand? How long until it decays into ruin, its purpose exhausted? The lighthouse towers above. That's cool enough. Okay, it's just a hole. Oh no, eel of mine. Arrow, squid, not eel. What was the sparkling thing over there, though? Someone's just jumped on the ship. Please be squid. They're your eels, aren't you? Uh, I'll put you there. Right. You squid. Yes. Ooh. That an infected one that we got then? Oh, you're joking. So it's depleted. I've got. I, I need to go back for those crows come. Too late. Leave me alone. I'm gonna make it. 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 Cod lost. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We didn't want the cod anyway. Just don't take my squid. Maya. Grey eel. They've taken my eel. Fisherman, what is it? You look a touch troubled. Is the fog starting to get to you? No, the crows. The crows. Completely normal around here. And nothing to worry about. With a good night's rest, you'll be right. It's rain by morning. It is morning. Uh, have you any fish? Yes. Can I? Brood squid. Tentacles sprout from a glowing core inside the gentles that other cores lay dormant alongside. I don't know if I want to sell that one because. You know what? Alright, come back. We have everything now to make a business. Wait. So, was that not the order? I found this book out back. Could be useful to you. The fishermonger is reaches under the counter and hands you a damp battered fish but a few shimmering fish scales that's tucked to the cover um okay so oh wait wait did we do the mission then
Actually, I need to catch two squid and one black grouper. Right. Right, damn it. Okay, so I need that squid back. How do I get it back? How do I get my squid back? Damn it. Uh, repair mode. over here. Uh, shadow and shadow. Okay. So we're going to go to sleep I think. We'll just sleep the day away. We're going to sleep the day away. Fisherman, have you run into a photographer on your travels? She docked here a few days ago for supplies. I suggested that she take some pictures of the town for promotional purposes, but she didn't seem too interested. She mentioned she was heading south. Perhaps you should introduce yourself. Um, I don't know where she is. But anyway, I'm going to end this here for now, guys, because uh, I think it's come with this one and the other one. It's probably going to be around an hour's worth of video, so that's great. Um, so that's another game for the Halloween thing i wouldn't mind continuing this so let me know your thoughts on it um and if 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 you enjoy it let me know and i'll continue with it if not i have another game to try uh which i'll probably record tomorrow anyway um but yeah so thank you very much for watching guys i hope you're having a great october and eventually have a great halloween um don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the episode or the video um subscribe to the channel if you are new and i will see you all in the next one do take care Bye.